Never trust how you feel about something. Always trust the activity that you're taking to achieve that something. My name is Oliver Fernandez and welcome to The Imperfect Entrepreneur. And today is going to be a great day. And the reason why it's going to be a great day is because that's exactly what I told my daughter today when she woke up and was kind of pouting around the house. And I said, hey, did you have a good night's sleep? She said, yes. Are you going to have a great breakfast? Yes. All right, well, those are two reference points for you having a great day. And then immediately once I said that, she started smiling. And we just started focusing on what we wanted instead of what we didn't want. So as I, as I start thinking about activity, we have this graph that we've been looking at over like the last, I think actually the last year and a half, but more specifically now over the last six months because it's, it was so apparent to us that how increased the graph was in comparison to all the previous years in the organization. And I was like, oh my God, what's going on? Like everything is like, is clicking. And, you know, obviously we, we've done a lot of things different this year. You know, we've, we've, we let the team know what the big picture was. We've inspired the team to go take an action after the, the big picture. And then also to even, to even the, the, the catalyst to all this even starting is our belief increased. We believed more was possible. And then that, that created all this doing this activity that could be, be done this ex excess activity, right? And then this excess activity is now creating a situation where our our previous highs are now going to be our previous lows. I can already feel it in the environment, right? I can already see it based off of the numbers, right? Because like feeling it, and you know how someone's like, oh, it feels good, or I, sometimes I'll be talking to my partner or a team member and be like, you know, it feels like we're doing a lot of stuff, and you know, it feels it feels if it, it feels good, like it feels like there's a lot of activity going on. That's exactly when I say, you know, let's look at the numbers because that feeling good always gets you in trouble because you're not, you don't really know if it's true or not. Like it, something that feels good can be bad for you, right? Like there's so many stories of things that could be bad for you that feel good, right? So we never want to trust our feelings. We only want to trust that activity. So like after, after understanding that and seeing that, and I would just like focus on my activity and, and like, we're looking and it starts with, it starts with our proposals, right? It starts with proposal and estimates going out to, to our customers and our clients. If that's low, we already know the people that are going to say, yes, I want you guys to do this work for me is going to be low which then we know that our numbers are going to be low and then which we know then we're not going to be able to pay out our incentives to our team because we're not hitting our numbers. So it all starts with, with the activity. And when I start thinking about activity, I start thinking about not only creating that result in myself, because that's really what it, for, where it originally starts from. It starts from getting the results and then having the confidence, the, 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 um, the passion, the, 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 the conviction to tell your team about what you're doing so that they can then get the results. Because if you start saying, Hey, you know, we can do this and I think it's going to work and, 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 you know, let's try this and let's, let, let, let's, let's just give it a shot. You know, that type of, that type of wording and that type of, uh, communication isn't going to inspire a team member to go and take the type of action that's going to be required for them to get the results that we're talking about. But when you say like, dude, I made these calls day after day after day. I tweaked the script. Now the script is absolutely perfect and it will, will drive a result that the, the exact result that you're looking to get in less than 60 days. And if you're, and if you really put the time, energy, and effort into this, it'll be in less than 30 days. You'll get the result you want. Let that type of uh, conviction is so much more inspiring than, Hey, you know, uh, I don't know. It might work. It, like that's not going to inspire anybody. Let's try it. No, like if you do this, you're going to get the result. And then th that allows the activity in the organization even go even higher because now not only is your belief high because you know what the result you can create now your team members belief is higher and as they continue to get the results it's going to go even higher 
And then, like now all of a sudden, you're duplicating that process through multiple people. The doing is high in the organization. And then the, when the doing is high, it, it, it always translates into more results. Especially when you have it dialed into a point where you're, you're going after the right customer. You're going after a customer that you enjoy, the customer that pays you the most, the customer that will provide profits for, for the business to continue to grow and scale. If you're doing that, like your business is going to grow. Your business has to grow because the activity is going to force it to grow. And then it's also going to force you as a leader to step up because as that activity grows, you're now going to have different problems in the business. And then that's the, one of the key indicators of knowing you're taking enough action is that the team that you had is not big enough to, to handle this current situation that you're in. And you'll start, you'll, you'll feel it. Like you'll feel it like, Hey, I got 10 bids to bid and I only got one person to do it all. And they can only do three a day. Like that type of pressure is, is where, you know, like, Hey, I got this, this, this is the indicator. Hey, I got a new different problem. Like the first problem was getting the flow. Now I got a different problem. Like I got to get people to service this flow. And then that's when you now can grow and continue to scale your team. You know, like when, uh, I don't know who it is, but I remember Kobe Bryant said it and he's like, man, you miss every shot you don't take. What's that? That's basically like every time you don't take the activity, you're missing the shot. Like you got to give yourself an opportunity to actually make the shot, actually to hit your targets, to hit your goals. And the only way we do that is by increasing activity. So we have this graph and like, you know, it's going up and then up and then up and then up. Every other year was like up, down, down, up, down, up, down. And it was no consistency. And then that that's my fault. That's my fault because the activity in the organization didn't stay consistent. There's a number of reasons why that didn't stay consistent. Reason number one is we didn't have enough energy behind that consistency, behind that activity. Here's one person trying to juggle all these, two, maybe two people trying to juggle all these plates on, one, on a couple different fingers. Well, the thing is, is once you stop spinning this plate and go to start spinning this plate, no one's spinning this one. So like eventually the, the momentum that's on this plate is going to break and then the, the plate's going to fall and smash on the ground. But, and in order for us to continue to, to not have that happen, we had to increase our our belief, our trust, our ability to believe that someone else can duplicate that action. And it's never a perfect situation. You know, no one's ever going to, you know, duplicate an action a hundred percent the the exact same way I can. But if they're doing it 80, 85%, 90%, the, the people that are really remarkable at 90% to a hundred, then like it's more additional capacity uh, flow into the business that allows the business to grow and scale, allows you to bring on more team members, allows you to take care of the team members that you already have. So we never want to trust like, Hey, you know, it fe like I've, I feel like I'm taking a lot of activity. It feels really busy in here. Those are the exact words or, or word tracks or communication that is like a red flag in my head. I'm like, Oh my God, that something we got to check the numbers. We got to look at the numbers. Because if the numbers are down and somebody feels like they're doing something great or they're, they're taking all this activity, you know, there's, you know, there's a disconnect. Maybe they're taking activity, but they're taking activity on the wrong thing. So they feel busy, right? But it's not actually driving a result. And the more we can eradicate that from our environment, our businesses, our, our, our home lives, the, 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 the faster we can get to where we want to go. And then the faster we can get to where we want to go, <laughs> the the bigger the target is, right? Because I'm always that person like, oh, I'll get to a target and like, oh, then I reset it. Why do I do that? Well, I do that because when I didn't understand that concept, 
I actually hit a target and then I took my foot off the gas and like, oh my God, all these like emotions and sadness and depression was coming out. And why was it coming out? Well, it was coming out because I wasn't, I wasn't being fulfilled anymore. I wasn't doing the things that made me happy. The things that made me happy are, are continuing to grow and scale myself, continuing to grow and scale my team members, continuing to grow and scale my family, continue to grow and scale the things that I care about. Like I knew I had the talent. I knew I had the, the, the ability. I just now needed to increase that ability and now start duplicating it through others so that others could now get that, those exact same results. And then that's how you continue to, how I've continued to live a life that I'm happy about, that I'm proud of, right? The same way when we went to a, uh, a safari out in Virginia a couple weeks ago and my daughter gets on this camel and she was petrified, so scared. She would, did not want to do it. And I was like, come on, babe, come on, babe. And she was like, no, 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 no. I'm like, can she ride with me holding her? The guy that was, that was, um, walking the camel said, no, she's got to be sitting down. And I'm like, come on, babe. No, 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 no. So what did I do? I, I asked my wife, Hey, can, can we put another blanket down? And he said, yes. And I said, hey, babe, can you pass me the blanket? I put the blanket down and she sat down. I'm so glad that happened. Why? Because now when she talks about the camel, she actually calls it a castle, but it's, it's the camel, right? The, the, the light that comes into her face, the excitement that I see in her face, she is so proud that she did it. And I'm so glad I was able to come work her through that, those emotions that she was having of, of the fear to be able to go and do that because that feeling of proudness, well, no one can ever take that away from her. And then now she's more likely to want that feeling again. So she's more likely to do things that are going to make her proud. And then that's the exact same thing that we all need to do, right? We all need to do the things that make us proud. And that's why I love continuing to show up, continuing to push, continuing to make things happen in the business, in my life, in my, my family life, because it makes me proud. And then those feelings of making me proud give me the energy and the zest to want to continue to move forward. And I desire the same thing for you. So go out there and continue to build your legacy. Let's roll.